We want to know who our biggest tip is. Yeah, I'm just going to quickly say, this guy made a whole story about socks, bro. <laughs> Listen to me! <laughs> Lose your ears! Use them! I had a dream! I right. had a dream! <laughs> yeah. Modern day MLK. So I tell you one demographic of people who be interested in headphones. Go on. And people with this. That joke fell on deaf ears, bro. I was watching that movie. I don't think there was any part of that movie where I was actually sat there like, whoa, this is visually insane. Brother, what are you talking about? I'm actually so triggered. Welcome back, guys, to episode number 47. Yes, lads. What are we mm -hmm. saying? How's it been? We definitely are not back-to-back -back recording. Oh, uh -huh. I'm really great, man. Long time no speak. How's you guys yeah. been? <laughs> yeah. To be fair, it has been a while since we had a good chat, you know. When was the last time we chatted? Dune? Anything interesting yeah. happened in people's lives since Dune? Can we talk about Dune? I beg, please. Oh, Can we talk about Dune? Should we save that? Should we save that for yeah, a little bit later? So just people don't get bored straight away because they might not care about Dune. Yeah, it's possible. Sounds like a them problem, bro. <laughs> nah, nah, we leave it for a bit. <laughs> That's the last one we leave. Incoming Dune review momentarily. Yeah, if you're interested, stay to the very end. I like that. <laughs> maybe not, maybe not <laughs> the end, but just in a couple topic times. No, no, no. Stay to the very end. If I don't we'll see, see like a stats. peak, you know on YouTube, you know when it shows like the peak fuge? Yeah, it's yeah, the no, very no. last one is not a most, peak, I'm disappointed. Most replayed point. Yeah. Before right. we go any further, audience, what are we calling our fans? People, listeners. Listeners. Got tips. tips. Yeah, tips. Tips. No, tips. no, tips. no. That's not First of all, tips. No, no, First of all, tips. Before we go any further, <laughs> make sure you like and subscribe and please, please leave a comment. Please. Yeah. We want to know who our biggest tip is. Me. Mm. It's me. I'm the one who's messaging all the flipping TikToks, man. Oh, it's actually true. It's actually true. What the flip are you guys someone. paying out, man? If you're enjoying the it's content, true. flipping, leave a message. In it, bro. What the fuck are you not doing? In <laughs> well, already. Oh, that's <laughs> within 60 seconds. <laughs> right, listen, that was a minute and a half. <laughs> <laughs> that's a new oh, record. That's great. That's great. If oh. you guys want a swear counter, you know, we should do oh, a potty jar. We should do a potty jar. And every time someone swears, we put in the, uh, the fund. That we oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Harsh, he can, he can single-handedly fund a whole pot. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Right. I think that's so for, for, the, for the listeners, yeah. All right, we uh, no uh, tips, brother. No, the no, tips. for the for the listeners, yeah. <laughs> we uh, <laughs> we we have producer Sharji, as you you must if you're if you're good avid fans of the show now. To you know who he is. He is totally like said line. So, our best friend got married. Thank you, oh, bro. Right. Okay. Um, our best friend who <laughs> got married yeah, is currently is. listening in uh, as we speak and um, helping us sort of produce as we do the episode right behind the scenes. He's here live right now. He's in the shadows. Right. The last episode that we just we just finished, like this, you two minutes before this. He he was making a note with the swear words. That's another right? one. Just so we can like edit out. Or, yeah, that is another one. <laughs> like, we can edit out or do anything like that. And he told us afterwards, like, oh, I don't know what you guys think about swear words. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you guys want, to, want me to note them or not, but he noted them anyway. Put his hand, head in shame. So, last episode, episode 46, there was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 swear words. Mm. Okay, the first one was at 4 minutes 54. The last one was at 59, 59, which is literally oh, the, the end full, of the episode. The full episode, wow. Yeah. This this individual didn't stop. There was, like, oh, say, yeah. There was a oh, grand total God. of 1, 2, 3, 4, <laughs> 5, 6, <laughs> 7 F-bombs. <laughs> Yeah. Two C words. Oh, what's the C word? Cat. Yeah. <laughs> One B word. Wait, hold on, hold on. Can we get, can we get, can we get a demonstration? What, what's the C Why word? Why is he laughing in the background with no cat? <laughs> Do you want to get on the camera, bro? Wait, hold laughing. on. Can we, can we get... <laughs> I, I, I feel, I feel shameful. Wait, hold on. Good. What's the C Show word? I need a demo, shame. bro. Show your C word is, um... I need, I need a demo with the C word, man. Come punt. On. Punt with the C. Oh, All right. right, right. And, right. Um, and, oh, and another word, punk. which is probably... Yeah, yeah. yeah. And another word, which is probably going to get <laughs> muted. Um, and so they were... Uh, the, how many do you think Jay had? Oh, zero. How many think Masa? Oh, zero. How many think Maham? Oh, oh, Harsh had all 11. <laughs> and as this episode... <laughs> as this episode started, I'm pretty sure he's done three already. So it's back to you. Yeah, uh, we're off to a great start. Oh, he's done again. <laughs> I can't anyway. help it, bro. It's part of my. It's part well, of you better TV. hope it at some point if you want to get uh, you know monetized. Sounds like a you problem. Sounds like I'm not gonna edit. Sounds like a you problem. Sounds like us problem. <laughs> Does it? Ask oh, oh, this guy. Editing is definitely <laughs> your problem. I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> no I don't have this. to do it. I don't have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dead. I can't help it, bro. You know what it is? It just makes me feel closer to you guys when I swear. Shut up, man. Okay. What's your favorite swear word? What, what are you saying? 
Favorite swear word, lads? Oh, should we tier list? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should tier we list. Actually... Unfortunately, my favorite one can't be said. Oh, Hamza, pull up the tier list. Let's rank them. Eight F. They all Ooh. can't be said. Wait, which one's oh, yours? Your favorite myself? ones can't they're, be said. They're, none of them can be said. Come on, lads, you're slow to it. I mean, this whole thing's just going to be a right. A so bleep. wait, say this one. We'll bleep one. We'll bleep one. Just say one. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> so I can't help it. I'm telling you, it's fucking. It's an instant. Oh my, this oh, guy's issues. Oh, this guy. oh, you actually need to chill out. <laughs> He's got issues. Chill out. <laughs> Don't ever, right. ever, ever tell me that again. I just no, hold ever. on, hold on. Listen, listen. Ever. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait. Hold on. It's funny if Hamza only responsible and Hamza's only one editing it. Isn't but it? now there's somebody else in it. You gotta feel bad for producer Charlie. You know what I'm trying what's to say? He, what's he doing? All he's he, documenting he's... it, isn't it? Yeah, but bro, all I'm trying to say, I, I <laughs> he's that. writing the receipts. <laughs> yeah, I understand writing... that, but listen. listen Who cares if Hamza spends five hours censoring your C exactly. word, exactly. F word, B word, A oh, word? Producer Charlie said, word. "I'm not counting this episode. Excel ran out of cells." <laughs> there you go. <laughs> 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 Fantastic! Yeah. Oh, I'm dead. So, uh, yeah, anything, anything actually been going oh, yeah. on uh, in anyone's yeah. life? Or any Do you too? <laughs> no, 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 not yet, not yet. That needs to wait a little bit. I, little I bit. already went to extreme death. De- death? Whoa! Extreme death. Carbon oh, 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 monoxide death. did hit you. Yeah, big. exactly. <laughs> I'd probably lose a couple of brain cells. I mean, naturally, right? <laughs> Probably well, didn't have that, any or... to begin with, but uh, <laughs> negative now. I'm a negative brother. Um, well, you know what that makes me? Words around it. Oh, what does that make you? A smooth brain don. Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with that one. Smooth to me. We'll go with that. Well, one. speaking of brains, Neuralink. Wait, wasn't Masan about to say something? Oh, well, yeah, I was. What the fuck's going on? I don't, honestly, I don't know what he was on about. <laughs> it's, all right, it's fine. It's no, fine. No, 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 no. I realized. No, no, no. By the way, happen, hold, on, hold 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 on. This is an important exercise here. Very important exercise. I, I, I want to have this deliberation. All right. deliberation. I am responsible for clips, so I do see the footage back. Jay, do you ever watch the episodes back? Uh, we'll yeah, start but it. not the whole thing. Hoshu, do you ever watch the episodes back? Occasionally, yeah. Hamza, Actually, is, frequently, frequently, Hamza yes. is the most distant, distant, distant listener, distant co-host ever. There are periods... Tips, tips, fans, yeah. Tips, your clock. <laughs> he will like. Please, I'm muting all the tips. <laughs> tips. I'm tips, not muting the swear words. Tips, I'm leave the tips. below, right, in this episode when Hamza just all of a sudden just like completely checks out, and we'll be having a conversation. He's just not in there at all. He's not it dead. happens all frequently, the all the time. <laughs> it's <laughs> mental, bro. Ah, Trust bro. me, I know. <laughs> I, I know it. He'll come through with like some stupid question like, oh, Slough or 10K? And we'll be like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know what it is? It's like he's distant. We're having this productive conversation and he'll be like, yeah, anyway, so blah, blah, blah. Just completely interrupt with something that we're Bro, not talking you're about. you're man. It's not true. <laughs> what are we saying? I'm saying that happens. Do you want me to edit the episode or not? If you watch it the most, you've got the, you got the biggest data. Yeah, Can yeah, you make a compilation, actually. please? Because I've seen it on the last episode. Yeah, compile. A compilation of zero is zero. <laughs> <laughs> you said that like three times, bro. <laughs> I want to see that. I want to see a compilation of Hamza just zoning out, just looking yeah, into yeah. the ether. Yeah, yeah, fair. He's yeah. doing it right I'm now. Boring, <laughs> isn't it? I work on. I work on. See, he's changed his tune, lads. I've got a lot, a lot going on in life, isn't it? Man's oh. mind is preoccupied, isn't it? Oh my god! With what? Can we can we delve into your mind a bit, please? No. Yeah. How was your week? That What's was going literally on, the man? topic. My week was all right. I'm I'm doing Pretty some tough. courses at work. I get like three nice. courses. I can do any course I want at work, which is pretty cool. Really? Nice. Any nice. course, degree, apprenticeship. Do one on how to co host. That'd be good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, let's give him credit. He's actually saying. He's actually saying. Yeah, he's like good. He's good. He's good. He's all right. He's all right. He's all right. Yeah, what are you saying? He's, 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 he's good. There you go. He's I, okay. He's yeah. lost it. <laughs> but yeah, so I was just, I just, I just did that. I did a two, do, two day course this week. Mm. Was it, was it out, was out of the office? Did you go somewhere nice? Um. Well, the company I work for is obviously like an education provider in it. So we'll be, I went to one of our own centers in London. It was net, right, literally it's right next door to the Gherkin. So, Jeez. wait, who'd you work for? Big pickle and that. <laughs> Don't worry, in it, bro. That's too much TMI, bro. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's pretty sick, man. It's pretty cool. So, I just did that. other than that, I didn't really do much else, to be honest. Eh? I'm not going to lie, bro. Yeah, we, I, we... I've got an interesting story. It's not interesting at all, Go actually. Ahead. And you lot are going to. Not find it funny, but <laughs> the other day. So when was this? Yesterday, Friday. Great. We went to Fucking the went great. into the office yesterday because another one. The yeah, another <laughs> one. the vice president of design for president. Adobe. 
for Adobe <laughs> came in. VP of hex codes. <laughs> literally, literally, that is his job. <laughs> That's so good. That's that cool. is but why is he talking about the ops? <laughs> They're not the ops. We're not, I'm the not ops. direct ops, but yeah, we're not the ops. ops. <coughs> not really. We do nah, very joking. different things. I know. Um, we have a partnership with him, and he, he was in. I don't know what he was in London for. He must have been chatting to some other Adobe dons. Um, but he came in to do a chat with us. Is he American? <laughs> yeah, he's American. Based in New New York and California, he switches between the two. I think. A very interesting guy. Like his life story was really cool. He grew up as. Is his name Eric? <laughs> Eric Snowden. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I found him. Yeah. Um, what the fuck? Yeah. Cool guy, he like grew up doing music and then was going to do a, he was going to major in chemistry and then decided, fuck that, that's, that's rubbish. So then he moved on to do design and then ended up working for loads of different companies doing cool stuff. Um, right. But the funniest thing is he came in and there were only a few of us in the office because no one really comes in on a Friday. So the people that did come in came in basically for that talk. So he, he oh, flew yeah. to the UK with a bunch of Adobe merch. And he just gave, gave everyone Photoshop socks. So I got Photoshop <laughs> socks. Hey, that's pretty jokes. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Tell him it's a shit application, bro. <laughs> Tell him all the Adobe applications are shit. Premiere said, Pro is the most dog fair, shit thing I've ever seen in my life. UI is disgusting. So I don't know what our stuff he's doing over there. Let alone the actual functionality is ass. So tell him to sort his life out, bro. Honestly. <laughs> to be fair, one of the first things he said was... Passion. He start, he's the first job he ever had was he was an actual like illustrator i've got his, like, I've got his pen, linkedin here pen and paper that too, bro. yeah pen and paper illustrator <laughs> illustrator is what he was and then he moved on to do digital illustration and, and the company was just like here use adobe illustrator go figure it out and he was like for the first two weeks he hated his life because it was the shittest app he's ever used he's <laughs> like well now i think now i own it so yeah, and Damn. it's probably still shit, just like everything else they make. It's just shit, but they've it's got such a monopoly on the market. the learning curve is so high. That's, That's all nuts, it is. Yeah. But not even that. The UI is disgusting. But okay. the UI for for the like the pro users is good. That's the problem. It's the same with it's, Photoshop. It's not if you're a beginner, so it complain. sucks. If you know it, if you're boss logic, you're like, this is bread and butter. <laughs> yeah, but you can say that about anything, though. Yeah, our really, recording you know mean? trash because of Logic Pro of them. Because no, Fruit Loops. I don't know if that shit. <laughs> this guy, used to, he was um, he was uh, VP of Creative and Technology at Atlantic Records as well. Yeah, he was. Wow. He said yeah, he hated yeah. it. <laughs> oh. Fair, isn't it? <laughs> uh, because he took on a product role. Yeah. So he was basically doing business as well as design. And he was like, he learned a lot, but but he did not like the business side of things. So. Well, you know, I shout out to this guy. Though. He worked his way up, man. He worked his way up. I'm looking at his LinkedIn right now, bro. He's yeah, no, he's, he's not. Fair you want to suck him off as well? Huh? Get him on in the it. pod, in it, Jay. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, Jay. You should have shifted. You I don't like... have that much clout. I spoke no, to but... him for like five <laughs> minutes. Yeah, and in that five minutes, you say, "Hey, I do a podcast. Would you like to come on? Take shoot your shot in it, bro. Just slap a QR right, from code ne- next in time, his fucking shoot, Next time, shoot your shot. <laughs> shoot your shot. He might give you an email, <laughs> and you can sort something out. You, you miss every shot you don't take. Is he bold? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bitch! Yeah, bro. <laughs> Just... Hold this. Scan it. <laughs> These guys have a totally different that. conversation over there. Yeah. Uh, no, it's the same conversation. Horse is saying, Chuck, promote the QR codes, which we don't have. We don't Ooh. have the facilities for that. Sukup, guerrilla marketing yeah? incoming, bro. I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, social yeah. media, man. Create them. <laughs> it's not the same thing, bro. Ooh. Create them. Do your job. <laughs> Listen, loud, loud. <laughs> All right, move on. Sick, what though. were you going to talk about? Yeah. I still got, I'll try and find them later. There's Photoshop socks. It's, like, it's pretty cool. That's funny. I've Did you get any socks? Did you get the socks? I got the socks, yeah. Oh, okay. Nice, nice. Oh, Are they good awesome. quality? Or they're overly priced, shit quality stuff? Well, I didn't pay for it. I don't know what the price is. <laughs> but no, they look they look good Prem quality. They look good quality. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cool. That's 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 pretty cool. Chat, I'm gonna get them. Pretty that's pretty interesting. Work. What the socks? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're pretty <laughs> gonna work. Socks. Um, I'll show you it's anything my, interesting, bro? Yeah, I'm just gonna quickly say this guy made a whole story about socks, bro. <laughs> Carla, I couldn't give less of shit. He's got I'm glad he's gone. But when he comes back, can we please act interested? Because he's got foot fetish, isn't he? He's got foot fetish, isn't he? He's, he's a Tarantino thing, bro. He's part no, of no, no, no. But to be fair, he did, he did give the prerequisite. This is straight that no one's going to find interesting. I know. So you're like, you kind of excused, yeah. didn't it? If you if you pitch a story, what do you do at work when someone says a story that you just don't care? You do the fake laughter. That's so mad. Like, bro. Oh, really? That's <laughs> great. <laughs> yeah. That is oh, great. Yeah, I did say no one was going to care. I did say. <laughs> oh, you heard that? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Look, I don't. 
they're, they're still like stapled, but it's it's Photoshop with the like transparency. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's pretty sick. Yeah, that's the, cool. The How much do they sell for? I don't Brother. know, man. I haven't researched it. <laughs> Honestly, you should. <laughs> they're just free. Money, money, yeah. fucking meal, bro. <laughs> Boy, yeah, trying really to find a way. Money I respect season. It. it is money season, baby. Money season. April. Come on. All right, well, then. Um... <laughs> My son's going to say something. What is he? <laughs> It's all right. Oh, there you go. The one that That's the problem Adobe with him. He always just says it's all right. Don't worry about it, innit? Like, just say it, innit? We worry, though. That's the thing. I don't. Oh, sure, you didn't ask the oh. question. What have you done the last two, three weeks? Surely there is last something week. interesting. Bro, I'll be so honest with you. I've told you. <laughs> There's really. nothing. There's, There's nothing. absolutely <laughs> zero <laughs> thing <laughs> interesting Brother. in my life, bro. You, you live in a you vacuum. You said you've been busy for the last two weeks doing what? With work, bro. It's been uh, fucking stupid. Hell. Like, crazy, crazy shit at work. Um... Went to a oh actually one funny thing happened we went to a um we went to a a work conference kind of thing with this company called actually bleep that. <laughs> and um <laughs> and we were there Hi, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. we were there and we were basically like it was like a apprentice day yeah apprentice day and sugar on the scene yeah. Sugar sugar. The scene. You did the yeah. apprentice. Well, funny enough, funny enough. By the end of the day, what we we're doing was we split into two teams. We had to like pitch an idea mm. to and use their platform to try and like sell our product, which was headphones. Um, and long story cut short, our team was so <laughs> passionate on the product itself and not using the platform, right? That they were like, "What the fuck are you not doing, bro? <laughs> were you part of that? We were, yeah, bro. Like." I said, I wasn't involved. I wasn't involved. I was like, bro, can we please? Yeah, I was, we're here for I a was involved. <laughs> I was I wasn't involved with the part where basically the headphones were a site, it's a byproduct, right? We're selling headphones, but we're using the platform to try and uh, find out ways on where our audiences might come from, who might be interested in headphones, related audiences to do with that, etc. So we basically put in like interests, right. headphones, music, <laughs> okay. concerts. So I tell you one demographic then, of people who are interested in headphones. Go on. People with this. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. on Swiftly moving on, bro. Can <laughs> we make a compilation? Clip that, please, Charlie, please. Um, I'm responsible. Name shame I'm not clipping that. Listen, no, no, no. all, all <laughs> you might skip that. All you might skip that. Hamza, I rate that joke. I'll give you credit there. That was a good one. Yeah, what did he say? It felt nah, like no one, one, death Use is, your ears, bro. Clear you don't have any. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah you, you're using the platform, not the headphones, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't involved. Like, <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> so what happened? Anyway, what did they say? Did they just absolutely rinse your team then? They, by the end of it, we were just like, um, uh, it got to a stage where we were so like passionate about the headphones and two members of our team were constantly trying to bring us back to the platform, like use the platform. The other two were just on a rant, innit? They were just trying to argue <laughs> between themselves. And I was like, me and, me and the other girl were just like, shout, you know what, I'll shout her initial, shout out T, if, you, if you, you're you never going to listen. She, she knows the... about the podcast. She knows about the podcast. <sighs> I don't know she's if not she a tip, then we don't care. She's not a tip, but she then starts then we with don't T. Care. She's got one of the letters. Yeah. <laughs> she is, she's, so I, she's Ip. She's an Ip woman. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's Ip woman. Oh, Donnie Yen, yeah? Yes, bitch, that might happen. <laughs> Raw, you've given him list when you're even talking about him. Yeah, it might happen. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, long story cut short, towards the end of it. Yeah. As my son likes to say, um, <laughs> we we got absolutely violated because they were like, "Oh, nice try." You know, them ones were like, "Oh, participation award." Yeah. But you didn't do what we needed you to do, mm. and then we basically didn't get the, pri- uh, the That's prize. That's really like, bad. What was the prize? That's I mean, not good. No, no, no. You basically it's, it's got told it's... you lot are incompetent. I mean, I'm not involved. They knew that as well. They were in the room when <laughs> it was You're happening, in the so. team. That's calm. It's not my problem, bro. I've clearly separated myself from this situation. I said, listen, you're not going to argue. You're not arguing it. They saw it. They saw it. It was recorded. The whole thing was recorded. They saw it. It's calm. It's not my problem. Right, right. Oh, dear. So I you, separate myself You're, you're in another away. team. You're in your own team. Bro, I was in my own team, bro. I'll be real. I was in my own world. <laughs> what did you pitch? Oh, in my, in my team? Yeah, yeah, in your team. What are uh, you pitching? So, <laughs> headphones, yeah. yeah. You know, like... Wait, what did they, you what know did they like, want you to put is? <laughs> yes! Like, now we're like speaking! You I hear you! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Listen to me! Use your ears! Use them! I had a dream! <laughs> 
I yeah. had a dream. Yeah. <laughs> keep speaking. No, no, keep speaking. Keep speaking. Stand back up, bro. That one Modern day, day MLK. Yeah. yeah. We use our ears. Bro, bro, yeah. bro, bro, bro stop, stop showing your tip for the tips, man. Just leave it out. Clear away. Oh, that is oh Modern day MLK God. if I've ever seen it. <laughs> you couldn't yeah. be? Okay. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> calling you inspirational oh thank you baby I love you too yeah. but yeah that's what happened and then long story cut show we didn't get the prize and we walked out <laughs> and we, we went home <laughs> right. right that's been the highlight of our week boys <laughs> we talk about June <laughs> that's so bad it's actually so bad well, we you just... went into work showed all in confidence <laughs> <went home. laughs> can, I, can I just get this straight can I get this straight right let me just get this straight I almost died oh shit Oh, you, oh, you, I don't know what his story was. Because I'm going to put that cover of a story in one sentence. I clipped that. Luck. Yeah. Right, if you're tips, man, break that down in one sentence. Jay got socks and <sighs> Hamza did <laughs> education. In Hamza got educated. Hamza got educated. That's crazy. Look at this. Oh, this is priorities are in order somewhere. Look at that. You know, somehow, somehow, Jay socks is the best story, bro. Oh How does that God. happen? <laughs> How does that happen? Fair. If that doesn't sum up atypical in one five minute clip. <laughs> what kind of clip is that? <laughs> that doesn't sum up atypical in 47 episodes. Like, oh my God. <laughs> one five minute clip segment, yeah? Oh, it hurts, bro. <laughs> but speaking of Matt Tathan, he's fighting Jake Paul. <laughs> he's speaking of Jake Paul, bro. Yeah, I wanted to ask you a lot bro. about this. Do you lot actually think Jake Paul can win? I'm begging. Honestly, I want Jake to win so badly. Wait, really? really? It'd be <laughs> so funny. It'd be it so be funny. Trans. I want the funny. Mike, how story, old bro? is Mike Tyson? 58, 50, I think. 50, yeah. So has he even got any gas left? Uh, the bro. One here, man. Bro, please watch the videos, Jay. You need to watch the. Like, I've the seen him movie. training. Like he, he would bust up any normal guy off the street every day of the bust week, up. right? And that's it. You're dead. You're just straight dead. But I'd like to if he it. goes, you know, if if this goes into like ex, like a few rounds, and Jake's yeah. just dodging and bust blocking up. or whatever, well, yeah. then he fought, surely he's gonna gas out. He fought a couple of years ago. Ah, oh, probably more than that at this point. When he fought, he um, the other guy, isn't Roy Jones Jr. Um, which were and Roy Jones Jr. is like one Sorry. of the best three years ago, all time. two years and ago, that, four years ago. Wow. Mm. In November 2020. And that, he was literally obviously 54 at the time. He, that fight was a bit more sort of uh, playful. Like, they, it wasn't the really weren't going for the knockout or anything. He looked, he looked all right. He looked Didn't good. he win? Well, yeah, he win. won. <laughs> that Roy, Roy, is not a good Roy representation. Like, but I honestly, I don't actually know what to make of this fight against Jake. I can't lie. I don't actually know who's going to win. I'm just very i'm very confused i'll be very interested mm. to see what's actually going to happen the main thing i am yeah it's the stamina and the cardiovascular of of mike tyson that's the thing i'm kind of worried about the most. and his ability to take a punch if i'm being <laughs> honest i want the funniest story and there is nothing more hilarious than jake paul like beating mike tyson yeah that is quintessentially yeah. but doesn't the other side of you want to see jake paul face yeah. down on the mat done the thing i actually is, like yeah, it though. but he's actually lost like though it. The thing is, he's already lost a fight. And number two, yes. everybody's rooting against him. So it's not They'd fun to root. Minute. That's what I'm saying. It's not fun to root against an underdog. You always mm. back the underdog. And everybody, mm. the thing is, watch how the narrative changes between, oh, no, look how good he is at 50, whatever, for pin four. How old is he? Yeah. 54? 58 now. 54 58. Look how, look how good he is at 58. And then... If he loses, they're like, oh, they're going to change the narrative. Like, this is oh, what I was going to say. You four years ago. 58-year-old, come when on. He was when he was 54 and he was facing Roy Jones Jr., everyone was like, holy crap, Mike Tyson's back. He's next level. He looks scary. looks ferocious. Right? He, he looks amazing. Wow, we've never seen. He looks in the best shape of his life. He's got six-pack. Wow. And now all of a sudden it's, oh, he's old. He's frail. You can't fight him. What the hell? And it's like Jake, well, Jake needs to fight a real fighter, someone who's actually been a boxer. And now everyone's like, so uh, people are just hating Jake for the sake of hating Jake. I think, and I think he's, yeah. the hate on Jake is just way over for no reason. I, would I think give, if you watch I his podcast purpose, with like bro. George Janko yeah. and stuff like that, he's not actually a waste man. He's not. He's not a dick, bro. Not anymore. It's his character. It's his alter ego. He does. He was. He was when he was Team Ten, though. Bro, I saw this. I saw this at hundred <laughs> percent when man. he was Team Ten. Hundred percent. I saw this line that described the Paul brothers so perfectly. It was. No, Logan's Jake, a waste man. Jake was Jake <laughs> is the hero that acts like the villain, but Logan is the villain that acts like the hero. 100%. And nothing is more perfect. Than 100%. Logan's a piece of shit. 
shit, bro. To be honest, go pay back the people you scammed. How about that, mate? Why is he mates with JJ? Are they even honestly like Prime? Prime are they Prime. just Prime. business partners. Prime's a billion uh, dollar nah, for boys, boys, bro. Business partners, but <clears throat> they suck I, each other off. In the honestly, yeah, that, that, I still uh, love KSI though. Knowing, knowing okay. what, knowing what Logan did, scamming all those people and everything like that, like. Mm. Kind of says a lot about Jay Z to still be mates them, but we don't know if he actually is or not. We don't know. We don't know because yeah. obviously at that point he's in too deep to a business dude. He can't back out. That's the it? thing. It's, so, it becomes political then. So assuming that he's he's just friendly for the business deal affairs, but if he's actually boys behind the scenes, because he has talked about the scam and he's been like, oh, but what was the scam? With it. What it was like a crypto NFT NFT type thingy. Yeah. Yeah. So what is NFTs? Yeah. <laughs> <But, laughs> it, isn't it? Let's not talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I made ten bucks on it. Yeah. How, oh, did you sell it? Did you sell it? Yeah, I oh. sold it. You know what? Yes. Any profit. My guy, I got violated for absolutely no reason. No, you still bought it, which is hilarious. <laughs> you made money, though, to be fair. <laughs> Throwback to what episode was it? Uh, was I it? just made the clip of that. Guess yeah. the imposter, right? It was Guess the imposter. Watch that because I got violated. Save the yeah. save the children, save the kids. That was the name. That was the, that was the clip. Uh-huh. The, 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 oh, you, oh yeah, you, yeah. Don't look at me. Don't give me that look. The question <laughs> was about like who's most affected by save the kids ads, ads or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah see. Sorry, Clip, sorry, knowledge. Sorry, right. Clip knowledge. Clip <laughs> knowledge. Tips knows. Tips fans knows, bro. Loyal tips fans they knows. Stop this. They don't. It's 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 it's, it's, lo- it's, they, they it's done. They actually it's done. don't. It's because yeah, they don't. Don't. the video did not get views. No <laughs> yeah, one knows. Have you, have you yeah, imagined that guy, Davis tips. Clark? I don't know if Who? any of you. Oh yeah, like lock in, bro. Lock, lock in. in. <laughs> We're gonna hit those calculations. We're gonna get locked in, bro. Davis Clark. Bro, bro, he is guy. so funny. A fucking He's a legend. legend. He's so basically. Good. It's a guy called Davis Clark. Yeah, and I'll I'll let me find him right now, and I will send in the chat. And you guys can you guys can watch it. Right? <laughs> this guy is a bona fide legend, bro. I'll send his Instagram in the chat here and you can just watch his videos. Oh, man's stuff. got the Giga Chad chin. Bro, oh, bro, this bro he's a so legend. Funny. Locked in for greatness. I've seen it. I've seen bro, it. The, he, best, he the best comment I've ever seen on one of his videos is someone saying, oh, I tried to go to the escape room today, but they told me I was already locked in. <laughs> <laughs> he's the LinkedIn final boss, bro. That's what this guy That's is, it. bro. That's what I saw. He's a LinkedIn That's final. He goes, and his comments are like, great day <laughs> like it's like hard day to be a calculation bro bad day to be a calculation bad day to be not locked in bro <laughs> it's just like ah, oh, honestly he, honestly at first i was like whoa and then he's actually like he's actually going he's actually a legend no, but who, yeah, he seems, what, what is he, he, seems sick. he is, what is he he's yeah. just a finance he's bro inspirational in new york guy. inspirational oh, but right. he, and he, he, says, he like, just says shit. yeah he just, all his videos are him just saying like let's basically let's lock in let's do the work let's show the older generation that we're good we're motivated all that shit but bro, like, it's the best thing is, is that his his caption for a lot of his videos will be what he says in the video. Oh, <laughs> so he's like, nerves through the week, uh, through the roof this week. Like anyone, I deal with a lot of emotions, but I'm just a regular person going through a crazy time right now, trying to hit those calculations hard and get locked in, guys. And like his Jeez. caption is exactly that <laughs> as well as it. But this guy's a legend, bro. Shout out Davis, bro. What a legend. <laughs> Well, him and amazing, him and right? what's the other guy's name is it mark there's another guy that's also super funny he's like a he used to be a consultant now i think he's quit his job to just mm. do social media stuff but all he does now i think now he says he's a bachelor in dc all he does every day his videos are just him putting on a different <laughs> suit with a different tie and then he just does a little like get ready with me show but he mm. looks like the i haven't seen that biggest nonce like the whole time <laughs> I did not see that coming. All he looks like. But he makes it work. He's like, oh, look at this and how this purple tie goes with this suit. And it's the most clapped outfit every day. And he gets so many views. It's so funny. That is too funny, Rev. (sighs) Is he aware? Is he aware of the joke? He must be. He He must be. I think Mm. he does it on purpose. Like, he plays the act a bit. Because he does look like he gets zero bitches. (laughs) (laughs) Can't lie to you. Some of us... Some of us, yeah, we look like we got zero something, bitches a long time ago. Bro. Something doesn't need to be said in it. <laughs> you? you can just I rest let it fester. <laughs> uh, speaking fester. of that, though, I see Peng in the chat, and I'm so curious. Okay, well, it's not what you think it is. Unfortunately, I'll be real, Aww. fam. It's not. Well, actually can you to make do it? With... Can you make it what I want it to be? Shall I try? It? Yeah, 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 try. <laughs> you have a dream in it. I have a dream. Yeah, stand up. up. I'm going with this, bro. Stand up. The tips want to see the tip. What? (laughs) Stop this. What? Tip squared. Where the pen tips up? 
<laughs> okay, so actually, the reason the reason why I put that in there was actually to throw you off, and it worked. I right, put that coke away. Anyway, the reason was being, the reason was because I should bleep that because we don't want to put my man out. Anyway, <laughs> bro, say your story. Fuck me. You wonder why I zone out. Say your story. <laughs> Oh, he's so affected by that comment. Look at that. He's hopped onto it. He knows it's true. Wait, which I'm one? going, bruv. He which zones one, out. Bro? He zones out. Oh, he's actually vexed. He's actually yeah, he's so vexed about that. Peng was actually for the Penguin. Ah, because okay. there's a show coming out for the Penguin from the, the Batman universe. Happy Feet. <clears throat> I thought you were talking about the crypto. Jesus, that was the fall. Wow. I don't know about the crypto. Oh, yeah, the Colin Firth one. It's not financial advice, but lock yourself into some peng, yeah? Change your life. Some peng things, yeah. It's not, it's it not change your life. financial advice, but yeah. <laughs> you'll you, fucking you're be broke research. as fuck. <laughs> you'll be on the streets begging to suck a dick for a fiver. <laughs> Back <What>? to penguin. <laughs> to be fair, uh, combo. Penguin, penguins, you know, the penguin does work in extortion, you know, so... Uh, He's a mafia boss. He's a mafia boss. He's part boss. of the process. He's he probably of... has what? a couple of prostitutes. What kind what? of club penguin lore is this? <laughs> oh, I'm saying Gotham City. Gotham City penguin. Oh. He definitely is a pimp, brother. Okay. You don't think yeah, he's got bro, prostitutes really. in Gotham Street? Yeah, yeah. Hardred. Hardred. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I'm excited for that shit, man. Because it's part of the same universe as the, the best Reeves. Batman. The Reeves universe. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I just want to see how it goes. When's I'm it really out? excited for it. It's 2025, uh, right? I think oh, so. The trailer just came out today. Yeah, it's yeah. been like in perpetual delays and it's really frustrating. And now they've also announced that the Matt Reeves Batman, <laughs> the Pattinson one, mm. people don't know, is now mm. delayed till next year as well. Is which, it? Yeah. Well, right, people isn't people are saying later. GTA 6 is also delayed to 2020. Exactly. Oh, I heard about that. Yeah. There's there's a, was it supply <clears throat> supply issues? Like How does that even make sense? Production issues, I think they said. Production issues, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they want their warehouse, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out, Colin. <laughs> he's there. I think his face. He's We're not making this a thing, bro. <laughs> you create so much work. Well, I'm <laughs> I want Hansa to put like the subway surfer thing every time you switch off. It's not gonna happen. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm really excited for that series. <laughs> but Stop. unfortunately, we, some tips might have epilepsy. Stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't. Don't don't do that to the tips, man. So, <laughs> this guy is so it's called the tism. You do it so quickly we can't see you. Are right, you back? Oh, I'm back. I'm back. I'm sorry. Do you please wanna, please do you say your story off? and move on. Yeah. Do you want to elaborate? Basically, on your that's story? literally. I'm just really excited for it. I love that. I love that series. Uh, the I love the Batman uh, movie so much when it came out and. Yeah, it's just been a long time. The Batman has a years. lot of opposing opinions, doesn't it? I hear a lot of people shitting on that film because they say it's just yeah, yeah, my brother didn't boring like it. People hated it. Yeah, people did hate it. I loved it. it yeah. though. I fucking movie. absolutely loved it. It was refreshing, to be honest. Yeah, it was a good, sick, man. good drama, narrative-driven story in cinemas mm. for once after a long, yeah, long, long. Compare long time. that to Joker Two, which they're saying is going to be a full musical rendition. It's going to so, have like twenty. I honestly don't even want to watch that in cinemas because I feel like it will ruin the first one. Do you know what I mean? Hundreds. So I've heard a rumor. I've actually heard a rumor. I don't know if this is confirmed by Variety or not, but the but the songs are actually covers. So I don't think there'll be any original songs in the oh, music. Covers of what? As in they this this I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the soundtrack, but the, apparently there's nothing like there's no um, poker face, poker face. <laughs> oh, God. Do you know any other Gaga songs? Uh, <laughs> I like some of the guy guy songs. What the fuck does she know about cameras? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Why is she acting that film? I don't even know what, no, I know what sick, I'm saying. Uh, no, yeah, twenty songs covers. covers. Rendition, yes. Yeah. Does that change your opinion at all? Because I saw that. You know, I'm gonna, gonna confirm anything. this. I'm gonna confirm this. You, you mind carrying off thing? It's, it's a bit, a, it's it's a bit of a cop out. Isn't it a bit of a cop out? How does it work though? Does it mean they're singing covers in? It's still a musical. In the still, th- yeah, it's still a musical. They'll be Bass. they'll break out into song and dance, but it just won't be their song. Yeah, Joker Bruh. Two music details revealed at least fifteen cover songs. Original tracks may be added, so there's at least fifteen reinterpret reinterpretations of very well known songs. My question is, why is Queen Phoenix signed up for this, bruv? Is this his, is this one, his humiliation ritual? He, want, he wants the bag. Number one, <laughs> number one, it's a contract. 
He's signed on to a contract. Oh, no, really. but well, but but there's there's you can get off contract, but it's not that deep. Yeah, he just won the, the Oscar. He won the Oscar for this movie, this franchise. So he's not going to just dip on the second one before even filming in the production. Let's be honest. He well, might have read the script okay. and be like, you know what? What this year binds. did it come out? The first one. It's been a while. I was like, like twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one. What? And he, did he win? Wow. Best supporting, actor for that. Or support, supporting. But he wasn't he supporting. Who was he supporting? He was He's the main guy. Main actor. Did he win some... No. Wait, he, he couldn't win Best, best actor? Supporting Actor when he maybe was he the did. character as him. Yeah, yeah maybe, yeah, maybe yeah, he, he did win Best supporting. Actor. 2019, actually. It wasn't 2021. What? It was, oh, it was really? Best Actor, sorry. Uh, yeah, it was 2019. Just before COVID. He, that was 2019. Oh, sorry. 2019, yeah. 2020. Yeah, I was in my Masters. And I was in, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did we watch that together? That before COVID. Yeah, it was right when it was, it was, yeah, when, I watched, yeah. yeah. I watched Me it with Hoshu. Yeah. Funny story, we watched yeah. it uh, with last second tickets and we just totally sat in somebody else's seat. Oh, we did. Yeah. <laughs> we, just we just completely, we just literally yeah. took them. We we unfortunately had, you know, those really silly, dumb seats, the ones that are like right at the front. Yeah. Oh, the, you know, the, the ones. Yeah. Bro, hey. The ones you're looking like. All the way up there, bro. Yeah. Yeah. You, to Lord. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we just, only had those seats and we just were like I'm Fuck it. should we just go that one bro it was the get back for Eurostar <laughs> let's not go down that story again <laughs> Jay, Jay loves that story Jay loves it so much Jay he's loves... fucking bricked <laughs> he's bricked up <laughs> thinking about that my tip has risen yeah hey yo don't defend the tips fans like that bro take that like right now take it back we're not, moving... Boss, yeah, we're not moving forward <laughs> oh yeah I love you tips man oh, hey <laughs> Uh, listen, if you guys don't like the words tips, leave a comment down below. <laughs> he hates it every time you say it, and you're saying it more and more. Of course. Tip, I'm tip, antagonizing tip. him, bro. This is the theme of this episode is pissing off Hamza. Let's put that as title. Piss off Hamza. Name jokes. Talk about movies. Can we talk about June? <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. Sorry. We can get into it now. It's into about now. time now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to let it naturally, you know, come up, innit? I respect it. I respect it. I, 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 respect. I understand the vision. Um, <laughs> the vision. But that was one of my topics I could cross off now. Basically, bro, I can't <laughs> lie to you. That shit shook my whole world, bro. And I went down another rabbit hole again. Oh, really? Oh, spoilers? No spoilers. No spoilers. For, the, for the seventh book now. <laughs> no, spo- <laughs> no spoilers, bro. I can't lie to you. I don't know. The thing is, I don't know how they're going to... Is it going to be a trilogy? Or is it so, be so just to set the scene, six original books, right, from Frank Herbert, the original writer. Yeah. There's a bunch more, which ironically his son, his son has taken mm. over, and even Dune fans are like, it's, a, it's an interesting question about like what's canon and what's not, right? That's why some people consider it like not really canon, because once the original author dies, what we're defining as canon, you know, what I mean, mm-hmm. in that universe. Um, but loads of people also say they're not good books. In terms of what Dennis is doing. The one who's done part one, part two. He's doing these two, and I think he's doing Messiah. That's all he's written on for, which is the oh, second book. Okay. So who knows where it goes from that point onwards? Okay. Might be uh, like, it's a uh, Warner Brothers, isn't it? Doing his Warner Brothers, he's, isn't it? He yeah. said that Paul's character will, will end after Messiah. Okay. Yeah. And then, so, and then other characters will take the lead. So it's an okay. interesting talk because I wanted to uh, mention that. But if you want to go through a review first, I think it'd probably be good. Because there's a, there's a big conversation point about whether Paul is a baddie or not. Mm. But I think that would be a good... Paul is a baddie? Point. Yeah, he's a... He's well, a baddie, bro. Not, not an IG baddie. I mean, to be fair, he, yeah, yeah. An IG baddie, but also mm. an actual... Timothy. Timothy, Timothy. yeah. <laughs> I'm actually a big fan of Timothy, man. Yeah, Honestly. he's sick, bro. Yeah, because you love big fan. Willy Wonka. I do. I was a huge fan of Willy. <laughs> huge fan of Wonka. <laughs> I didn't clip that. Clip that. Um, I really made him that to do it on himself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. Let's on not say himself. that. That's me, fam. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're gonna have to cut that out. That's outrageous. Yeah, true. No true. tips, fans, want to hear about that, bro. Um, oh, anyway, yeah. What, what, what kind of? What did you want to say then? <laughs> I just want to talk about it. I just wanted to hear you lot's experience about. It. I don't feel like we talked about as much because me and Masam after the movie so to put it into perspective for everyone after the movie what happened was we all went to dinner went to what was it Prezzo Zizi one of them shit fucking places bro. <laughs> Jay's suggestion yeah, so yeah that's what I, I, that's what I said again. 
No, it was actually it was actually a decent meal. I just wanted to violate you, but yeah, um, okay. we we went there and we sat on like opposite sides just of the like table. Gluten free. I'm th- <laughs> imagine Child. having sorry. Pizza imagine pizza. going to a pizza place and being yeah, I'm gluten free. <laughs> sorry, guys. Go, you had no choice. Go to the poor guy, bro. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm not going back there again. I'll probably just walk home. <laughs> I mean, yeah, from there. A choice. No one was like, from there. <laughs> from there. From there. From there. From there. <laughs> but yeah, we uh, sat on opposite sides of the table, so I don't feel like we actually caught up on it. We never talked about no, it. No, we didn't. Honestly, I forgot so, at this point. I just wanted to ask you guys. It's fantastic. You but thanks, Hamza, for that. Uh, Jay, <laughs> Jay, you want to go? <laughs> <laughs> I just liked it when the Baron lips his nephew, bro. I what did like, I miss? That was unscripted. That was unscripted, yeah. exactly. What did I miss? I, I lagged out for like 10 seconds. What was Stop your review on Dune in it? Give, give us your breakdown of you, bro. Oh, um, okay. Spoiler alert. Overall, I won't give spoilers. Overall, probably 8.5 out of 10. I thought it was really, really good. Like, the way it moved on from part one to part two was amazing. The visuals were industry-leading. They were absolutely fantastic. The acting was absolutely fantastic. The only problems I had were pacing in the third act was pretty shoddy, Um I think they could have cut the first two acts down and made act three properly, like actually draw it out a bit more because some of the characters' personalities, they didn't, it, it just wasn't right. It was too rushed in my opinion. Um, I, got, I just brought up my notes on the group chat. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I didn't like that bit. Also, they made some characters like, I feel like unnecessarily pussies. Like unnecessarily. <laughs> D- D- Dave Bautista, Dave Bautista's character, out of nowhere, oh. just like what was yeah. the point of him in the yeah. second movie? <laughs> Honestly, he was very fodder. There's and a reason, I, though. I don't know if it's like that in the book. I know Dennis made yeah. some changes from the book and some nuances, um, especially with Paul's mum. That character is quite mm. different to what is in the book. But I felt like the only the only reason Dave Bautista was relevant in that second film was just to make Austin Butler's character look better. Yeah. Which I thought was a bit yeah. of a waste. <clears throat> no, I, yeah. I, I don't think they made uh, Batista uh, strong enough in the first movie anyway to really lend much towards Austin Butler's character. I'm not going to lie. I don't think they made him um, as scary henchmen enough to really... I mean, I guess it did a bit for Austin Butler's character. I mean, that's clearly what they were trying to do, but I don't think they really accomplished much because I don't think, I just don't think Batista really did much, to be honest. I don't think he really had enough of a presence in the movies. I'm not going to mm-hmm. lie. It was w- also, wasted, it, to be honest. It was. It was, wasted, end, it, was yeah. it was also to, I remember um, that one scene when he actually comes, spoilers. Is this, can yeah, I say, it? Just I want to say about it anyway. Point, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I feel like um, that scene when he confronts Paul for the first time and they come face to face in the desert is complete sand, right? I think it was just show, it was also to signify how powerful Mardib Usul had become. <laughs> the son of Ghib. The son of Ghib. Yeah. So it's, yeah, true. So, yeah, so also, to also give Paul that aura of like... like yeah, ultimate, but I think at the, the same time though... Batista has been a pussy from the first movie because if you think mm. about it, every time he went to what's his name, bruv? Scars Baron. Garden, the Baron, Baron, right? He was a pussy every time. Which, yeah. in a way, obviously makes sense because the Baron is the Baron, but it's still that Batista is supposed to be the the general. He's not supposed mm. to be as much of a pussy. Because everyone else was a pussy <clears throat> and they were getting their neck snapped, left, right, and center, right? So. Yeah, I think they just I think they just wasted him to be honest. I think the icing on the cake on that is when towards the end, I mean we're doing spoilers now, but towards the end, when he does fight Josh Brolin's character, mm. that that fight lasted two seconds. Yeah, yeah. 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 It was that's that's kind of the fight that's, was sh- the f- oh, yeah. That, that, yeah. That, uh, br- that's kinda why the fight um, was shit. Yeah, it was shit, man. Which fight? Which one are you talking the, about? The, the, the massive Alex? war at Gurney. the end, to yeah. be honest. Really? And I'll tell you why, yeah. right? So I'll, I'll go into no, my No, not the whole thing. I found only Gurney sure. and Dave. <clears throat> I'll, Dave. I'll tell you why, right? That, like, the, the fight itself wasn't actually shit. I'll tell you what, but I'll tell you why, right? So f- carrying on with what Jay said, right? My, my basically nutshell opinion of the movie was that Yes, the pacing wasn't great. It started off way too slow. And then they just, the important stuff at the end, they just kind of squashed it in with the time they had left. I think 
Timothy Timothy's character was the the change was way too quick. I think as he went from like he went from like a hundred to like seventy to like fifty to like zero, and it was like it was way like we saw the gradual change, but then the final it was it was just way too much in my opinion. He changed way too quickly, even though it was obviously coming. Other than that, I, this one's a bit like whatever. But I feel like the environments and the vibes were just a bit too samey. Like it wasn't dynamic enough. Like at that point, it's like get the hell out of the desert or do something to make it different. Now, obviously they did switch it up when they went to, you know, the, the Hawkins land. Yeah, exactly. And stuff like that. But even still to me, it was like, at the end of it, I was just like, I want to get out of here, bro. It's too much. Like, and obviously they're going to do that in the next movie. Right. So it's fair, but I think they just, they could have done something a little bit more other than that. What else did I say? I felt like, everyone's stories that was kind of going on felt a little too disconnected and individual, even though there were like links between it all. It just, I just felt like there was a little bit of a disconnect kind of going on. Um, and then, yeah, the whole emperor Dutch died way too easily. And the whole war at the end was just way too rushed. So like visually and everything like that, like from just like a cinematic perspective, it was sick. But I think tagging into the story, I think it was just way too rushed because they've been building this up, the Emperor, for two whole movies, like six hours, yeah? And then it comes to the thing and my man just gets slapped and he just gets heated. And the same with the Baron as well. Like they built him up so much and then Timothy was just this little pussy freaking desert rat, right? Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden he just clicked with a finger, yeah? So I think they just didn't rap, rap, rank, what you call it? They didn't um, scale that up like Mm -hmm. the way they should have. Um... And yeah, just everyone just got squashed basically at the end. But yeah, the storyline was good. The acting was great. The pacing was okay, but it just could have been a lot better, to be honest. You know, my my take on that is so a couple of things. So like the Dave Batista thing is definitely a valid point. But to me, he's just a supporting character and he's basically there just to give Gurney Halleck resolution to his own arc yeah. as well. Yeah. He's kind of subsidiary. He is all for intents and purposes just an NPC. He is just there to build up everybody else and give Gurney Halleck like a conclusion, right? Because Gurney Halleck's thing is, I forget what Dave's character is called. I can't remember. Uh, Raban. Yeah. Raban. Raban. Raban is the one who killed my family. He's the one who gave me the scar. It's yeah. just to give Gurney a thing. And I do agree they kind of wasted Dave for that role because mm. he was really good. He's a really good He's actor. Good. So it's kind of disappointing. And the pacing one is definitely something I agree to some extent. It's funny because I, I had this conversation with Anch because he's read the books and i was wondering mm. is this a case of like they just skipped over the books uh, uh, they rushed just rushed in the books and the final act is also rushed in the books the final battle and i was i rewatched it again right and uh re-watching the movie helps to kind of set the theme like you re the what... whole movie again yeah bro i love the movie i don't have a problem re-watching movies that i love there's a big difference here um, anyway, really watched the movie <laughs> and I can see the pacing issue definitely. But really, the point of this film isn't so much that it's trying to him, the, the whole emperor thing. It's more so like Timothy's character, Paul, is kind of in an in internal struggle, whether he wants to accept his destiny or not. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. That's kind of the thing. That's yeah. why I don't ultimately think it's a big problem that the big final battle is hella quick and hella rushed. Overall, I was going to say that like, if if technically the battle is it's insignificant and it makes sense but the way they build it up it shouldn't have been that way so they they just miscommunicated there i think personally my, my, my thing is like it's not built up to be helm's deep if this was the helm's deep battle where you're building up for this a couple it's it's, it's it's hard yeah it's hard to forget that this is one book right this is just the beginning of the journey. The final yeah, battle yeah, yeah. with the Emperor was never going to be a 40, yeah, 50 minute home. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. I, this is why I'm conflicted because I agree with you to some extent that like it is it rushed. The but then again, easy. but that's kind of the point is to show that when Paul accepts his destiny, he can, when he accepted his full Harkin inside, he then but was I, able I to take I don't disagree with you. I think they still could have done that, but I just think they still could have achieved what you're saying in a better way. I, yeah, my, I think my... the the missing thing for me with that, which I completely I completely get that, if it's the end of the first book, it is in the whole saga the story yeah. of things. Yeah, it's very much the start. But what they missed to do was really show the importance of what the war with the other houses is going to be like. Like you have all this thing, he's leading up to this stuff, and it's like, okay, now he's going to fight the houses. But like, yeah. what does that actually mean? What what's at stake? 
just the fact that this this you know race of people is now going to join him is that the only thing that's at stake or they didn't what? really set up the house as well they kind of just at the end they were just like so everything you just watched the last two movies that's done now by the way next movie houses see you there and we did we that's even get introduced to any other house no no we didn't nah. we didn't we don't so really you don't really houses. have an idea of what like yeah, what's actually where it's happening. gonna go exactly yeah right. the only thing we know is there's gonna be a holy war and billions are gonna die across yeah, the galaxy yeah, which yeah. is the thing that paul is constantly afraid of which i do agree ultimately i rate it like 8.5 is a good rating i'd say like i'm splitting hairs here but like mm. 8.5 to 9 somewhere in between that range so i kind of agree with you <sighs> but that's crazy it's agree, a, no. visually it's I a stunning it a. movie like it there's so many things that's incredible about the movie i know produce Shaji, we were talking about it <laughs> last week he's not as big as fan but like in terms of like i always love characters who have like this impossible problem to solve right yeah and that's exactly the situation paul is in he can either and this is where i'm bridge, reaching onto that conversation which has become a big talking factor whether paul is actually a villain or not so for context Paul is supposed to be a sort of antagonist character. That's essentially what Frank Herbert wanted, okay? Because, and then people mm -hmm. didn't really get that message per se in the first book, and then he builds on that in Messiah. Maybe you know that whole shoe from knowing some of the law stuff. I, I, yeah, I'm not going to yeah. say that. Yeah, so yeah. that's what's interesting to me, because when I watched this movie, and I had a debate with that, not really strong debate, but conversation, and this is a big fact online, some people saying no, some people saying yeah, like, it's hard for me, even though he's supposed to be, even though the author, author intentionally wanted it to be so the case, for me to see him as a villain, because he's kind of left, he's, he's in a rock and hard place, right? It's like one of them ones where either he goes through the plan, which is what he's doing, which is going to result in billions dying, or it's the case of self-preservation for him and all his families and friends and loved ones, right? So it's kind of an interesting one. I'll be curious to know if he becomes, like corrupted by the power then it's more oblivious right he's evil but at least from this movie and and dennis the point of chani chani what's that is chani yeah she's supposed to be Mid. an instrument okay <laughs> she's supposed to be an instrument to show that he's been corrupted and turned exactly. to the dark yeah, side yeah for sure yeah. for sure yeah, yeah. and that I was just, done well yeah, yeah and i and uh which is why it's actually really emotional rewatching that final scene it's actually a really oh, great yeah. scene. It's yeah. actually really interesting that the final scene he decided was everybody and the gang all going up to space and she's basically about to ride the worm, right? Because the metaphor yeah. for ride out, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Like it's an interesting metaphor for the movie and where they've left left it off. I don't know if he's on or not. It's a hard one to so, say from this movie. What I gathered from it, I've only seen it once. Um, I don't know if anyone else has seen it twice, but what I gathered was that for me, they definitely set him up where in Messiah he will be more of an anti-hero. It feels like he's got to the point where his role is he has a job and he's fulfilling that job. And like, that's yeah. it. So whether that becomes good or bad, because now he's seen, he's seen everything after drinking the liquid or whatever, he knows what his purpose is. So it, he feels like he doesn't really, ma it doesn't matter to him anymore, whether it's yeah. good or bad, because he has a purpose and he feels like that's the only way for humanity or whatever to continue is if he does what he needs to do the the thing i don't really get is in this movie and in the first one he was seen as slightly better more of a hero and then they turned his mother into more of an antagonist no right, yeah. the mom thing was like bro where did this come from like yeah it wasn't explained at all there was no clarity on that whatsoever that she's become well. exactly that like, she's become more of an antagonist more of the like I can see everything. I know what needs to be done. I'm going to do the things that no one else wants to do to make sure that that route happens. It, it's like someone who's really good, but they want to make everything good, but it's their version of good. So it's kind of become evil. Yeah. To be fair, I think that's just misrepresentation who Jessica is. Because what Jessica's, Jessica's role is, she's a Bene Gesserit, right? What's kind of interesting is her and Leto's relationship, all the Bene Gesserits you see, like the one with, the, I don't know what Leo Seydoux's character is called, but you know when she goes gets um, Austin Butler's Fade Rather's like seed, mm -hmm. yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Like they're is she they're a trainee Ben Gesserit. Is she one of no, the? No. Well, she's, she's part of the. She's, she's just one, another Ben Gesserit. She's one of them. Yeah. yeah, but the, the interesting distinction is that Jessica's character, she is from that, right? I think people have a different interpretation because they see her with Leto, but it's interesting because her and Leto like actually 
loved each other, which is rare for the Bene Gesserits because they're just mercenaries. They're seed mercenaries, right? They're mm. in and out. Because that's why no. we're watching the literally in and out. That's why watching the first ones in uh, watching the first movies very telling because the last scene Leto and I have is like he's like saying to oh I should have married you yeah I should have married you because they do genuinely love each other mm. but don't get that misconstrued Jessica is brought up in that Ben and Jerry's lifestyle she's of like mission. she's got her own yeah. mission she's got her own purpose in, in life it's just because you had that skewed view because Leto and the whole everything was cushy essentially but right now you know. see that nuanced isn't it it's nuanced you have to it's one film it's one book i get that two films the the question i then have is so in messiah it's more probable than not that paul's character is like he's going to be more of a of a villain right because he needs to do it he needs to Ah, live his purpose yeah so does jessica's character you can't have two people being an anti-hero like they're going to oppose each other right so does mm. my question is then does she become more of the good character trying to feed him keep him on track or are they f- fully just focusing that part of the story on chadney pause no spoilers now we're getting into like spoiling the next few <laughs> movies bro i don't want to be spoiled <laughs> yeah, we don't know yeah we don't know. i want to know because i feel like yeah you, i don't think but you you're right have you can't those have two characters beef like 100%. there's too much power 100%. then yeah, yeah they, they, i they, don't think because she's because tr- she's trying to essentially control him right or trying to push him to do what she believes is right because at the moment she's the one with like the power and he's getting there but eventually pretty much already to be honest by the end of the second movie they're now like didn't he didn't didn't he tell her when they were standing in the room didn't he tell her to, he told someone to the stop queen mother, stop the or did the queen yeah, mother tell the, the other Bene Gesserit silence right no like, he, he told he, her Paul silence. told the, the yeah. Bene Gesserit mother to the one, silence. Uh, the one yeah. on the other side yeah, yeah yeah so that that right there was like he's now he's now the one with the power he's that guy he's not that his mum right yeah and so yeah I agree with Jay now it's just like two people but the whole daughter thing, which I think is how the mum's going to get into all of this as well. So that's, that's I don't think a, they conflict, honestly. I still I'm, think I'm not the saying they'll necessarily direction. conflict. Sorry, I don't, I don't mean they'll necessarily conflict. I'm saying I don't think they would have, mm-hmm. they'd make both those characters have the same amount of power in that film. I think one of them will have to have more power than the other, and the other will just become a supporting role for whatever yeah, that person's Rebecca, purpose is. Rebecca, yeah, I think Jessica, Jessica will just sit back. You know, it's also interesting. This is just a prediction. This is just a, yeah. This is a <laughs> guess. You thought Paul this is a in guess. There, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a spoiler. <laughs> this is a, this is a guess. But like, I think the fact that like you know Paul's sister says thank you, and I think that's just because he never makes it to the point, right? I think I think ultimately he has this goal. You know, the whole Lisan Al Gaib's goal is to bring paradise back to Dune, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't think he ever finishes his story, Hamza. I, I agree. Yeah. No, it's Cody reference. I know, right? but yeah. <laughs> I, I actually agree though. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't think he finishes his story. I think really, the daughter's gonna come think. through like, yeah, say if you're done now, I'm doing my thing. I, I don't know. That's yeah, what it feels like. It feels like he won't be there to the very end. Like that's why she's like, listen, I, you're making this commitment. I just want you to know everything you'll do is really appreciate. That's basically her 100%. message of saying, I love you. 100%. So like, I don't think he you makes done your it. thing. See you you done your thing. Though. Safe, safe. No, I appreciate. Now you I'm the one who's actually you know gonna benefit. Yeah. yeah um but i also think the overall acting in that movie is phenomenal Amazing. like austin yeah, yeah, austin, sure, austin sure. is great austin's yes. great i didn't know so just how good, good. austin was good he's really, as good, Faith yeah. Arthur. He's really good i need to watch really good. now yeah uh-huh. he still sounds that's like what Elvis. i thought that's mm-hmm. what i thought i was like you know what i need to watch more austin about the movies because he's not just yeah. a one of those disney stars who are just like mid-tier he's yeah. genuinely he's a great yeah. actor he's and amazing. also i love rebecca he's good in that as well he's very good i also love rebecca I loved her, Jessica. She was great as well. She I said this amazing. to Oshu. One of my favorite scenes in the movie is exactly the point where you say where she turns definitely that reveals the hidden mask of when they mm-hmm. like. She's talking to uh, the daughter and it's a close up of the eyes. And she's seeing the little kids and she's just like, we need to make, we need to basically control the, mm-hmm. um, the, the non-believers. Yeah. And she yeah. just her Change, face yeah, from yeah, like yeah, the yeah, gentle yeah. mom to like a uh, manipulative individual my one thing is how the flip do they get off the sandworms bruv <laughs> they're going like they 500 off. miles for 500 miles per hour bro but they're they're, they're bedouins bro they know I, un- I don't understand and i and i know they sand do it on purpose well they're not <laughs> they're not really sand vendors they just yeah. do the tuk, 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 listen tuk. i know how how do they how do they, do they jump off 
ليسن ار جايد اوكي ليسن ار جايد يا فاز باسا فاز we got the power that's that's yeah he was the reason they didn't show them amazing because it's hella awkward and doesn't make any sense yes i know but like it's just like how did they jump over these gigantic ones running like five four hundred five hundred miles per hour three hours (laughs) (laughs) do you think they do sideburn drag races just who's the fastest (laughs) yeah bro he called them he called the mother of all uh worms bruv uh, that's another is... BS thing, bro. Shai Hulud. Out of all the things they want to show, oh, he's the Messiah. Web. I know, I get the joke, the whole thing about it, but out of like, he, they made purposely made him get the biggest one. I think just as a joke yeah. in that film, it seemed a bit unnecessary. Are right, you ready? Producer Shaji says they slide off the side of the worm or run off the tail. This is demonstrated in Dune, Children of Dune, and Heretics. Damn! Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jeez, shout out. Jamie Who role coming in. Jamie, Jamie, Jamie yeah. Who. Jamie um, Who. But yeah, I I I love the movie. The visuals are absolutely stunning. Dennis is the best sci-fi guy, honestly. Visually, amazing. he's the best. So many amazing. amazing shots. That one back shot pause of like Paul when he's like Whoa. in front of all the, uh, <laughs> the of like pause when he's in front back. of all the tribes. The um the what do they call them? They call them the southern tri- warriors. Yeah, yeah. They say specifically the goddamn southern. The yeah. whatever the religious dons. Yeah. When he's just got the army, amazing scene. The scene when he first rocks up when he's going through the crowd to the war council. All again. Oh, my I'm opinion a, a, is, <laughs> yeah. Finish, yeah, finish what you're say. Yeah, sorry. My opinion is, I get the third act is rushed to some ex- to some extent for sure, but I think that third act is incredible. The moment he drinks <laughs> the water. Like that moment where he says the past planet's name was Dune, and like the millions in the the uh, cave just all start uh, screaming. Can I, can I, can I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make a hot take. I'm gonna, we're an hour in, so we can end on this hot take. Yeah. No, I have one more thing. Oh, okay, go on to say things. I also, I, I just, I just yeah, want to talk this, about Stilgar, bro. Like aside from the memes, yeah, <laughs> my son, my son knows as well. When I sat next to him, I, I said it to uh, Cinderella, and I said it to. Uh, <laughs> I I Justin. He's been on the show. Justin, yeah, yeah. yeah. Justin as well. And the the most amazing thing was how still got that I found was how that that showed how Paul's power came into play and how he turned into like that 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 prominent figure that people look up to was Stilgar's presence in the whole film. How he how he became a guy from the first film where he was a guy that hesitated to spit on the on the Duke's table until he gave him a reason to. And then at the end of it, where he became a complete fanatic yeah, because yeah. he just believes in the cause so much. Like that aspect of like religion and like um, the aspect of like uh, the, the zealotism. Is that zealot, ze- zealous? What's the word? Like zealot, zealot like. Yeah, no, I zealousy. get what you're saying. Sure, like, sure. You know what I'm saying? Like him just turning into that character just was actually insane. I was the first thing that I said as soon as I walked out of the movie. I was yeah. like, that's insane. And you know, it's funny because was... people are talking about that as a fact as Paul's character where like this went from, I wonder, like imagine if you're that character, Paul, mm. and he's had that friend and that friend is now, still goes no longer a friend. He's just he's a follower. Him. Yeah, yeah, he's a follower at this point. He's not really the person who he became friends with as well. So yeah. like there's that kind of tragedy element to some it's extent sad. as well. It's a lot. It's a lot of pressure for him. And it's also like, it's just crazy to see a man with so much substance turn into a shell of who he used to be. Mm. Like it's just, it's just mad to see that. Like, and it, like I saw a, a comment online which kind of put it into perspective a lot, which was he started off as a meme and was the the, the, the comedy aspect of the whole movie but then the comedy turned dark towards the end when we were still laughing out at the end, but the laughs turned into like, oh fuck, Paul's actually mad. Like yeah. Paul's at, like something's going on here. Like Paul's got that power that's made Stilgar, the guy who didn't want to talk to no one, into who he is right now, which is mm-hmm. amazing to see. But yeah, that's all I had. That's all I had. Mm-hmm. Jay, you had something as well, isn't it? All I was going to say was, um, have you? I, I don't know if you lot have seen this, but on Instagram, I've seen a lot of it recently. A lot of people have been comparing um, Dennis's viewpoint. I don't, is it Dennis or is it Denny? He's French in it or whatever. It's I'm Denny, I think. Name. But I'm saying yeah. Dennis, bro. Yeah. <laughs> How Menace. Denny has gone about like showing his vision of the book compared to the previous installations of Dune, the other films that came out a long time ago. Obviously, they didn't do very well comparatively. Yeah, but big flop. The, yeah, but the the ways that the you know the other producers went about it, directors and even actors, and how it was very much more props, real props, real sets, stuff like that. 
it's it's a very stark difference, but it's really cool. Like he's also taken some nuances from there and brought it into his film and just CGI'd it and stuff. Yeah. So like, there's a lot of stuff that he's done that I think helps prove a he's really good at sticking to source material mostly. Yeah. And even in his interviews and stuff, he said certain things like he's done a lot of research you can tell the way he talks about in interviews he says herbert wanted this character to be like this even though it didn't get the um it it didn't get like widespread notice when the first book came out but that's what he intended that character to be so i'm gonna honor that and i'm gonna do that in a certain way so he's really good at that and all his past records of films arrival blade runner he's taken though yeah all that stuff he's taken that and this is like an amalgamation of all the good bits of that which mm. is just unreal and so. last thing before Hamza's hot take which is going to be absolutely egregious um, <laughs> you know the, the Gom Jabbar scene the parallel between Paul's and Fred Rather's Gom Jabbar scene is so good by the way I love so that good. like the, the when you compare Paul's when it's like his mom outside you know like doing it and he's doing it for his mom versus Fade's which is just completely like uh, triple X yeah. Triple X. It, it, uh, it's playing on their weaknesses. It's their playing on their weakness, weaknesses, exactly. Yeah. I, and I just think it's such a great, great scene. Also, this know. movie is now officially top twenty on IMDb. Really? So, can wow. I just can I just say what? Yeah. Okay, what was the actual point of that one Don in the gimp suit with his titties up? <laughs> Fade, just a, I don't understand. Someone weird has guy. sat there on set and said, "Let's, we want to do this." <laughs> Basically, it's because Fade gets off on uh, humiliation in it. He gets off on that, so he probably Fade enjoyed. The dark. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But imagine, imagine being the actor doing that role, bro. You're gonna be in Dune too, but you, you tease out. <laughs> how, epic, how epic was that final sword by uh, sword battle as well, by the way? Yeah, knife very, bite. very cool. May knife thy knife very, very... chip and shatter. Yeah. I didn't even realize when until the second that, watch. Oh, I love that. That's gangster, bro. You know <laughs> so what I didn't realize is I until I watched the second second watch, he actually has the little vision that he's going to stab him just before the fight the fight starts. If you oh, rewatch shit. the scene, Does yeah, it? yeah, you know how he constantly has those random visions where he sees things in the future. He ha- there's the shot of his hilt in fade, mm. and so That's like pretty sick. yes, yeah. And the reason I was like, the reason you can tell is the hilts of each each knife are different, aren't sure. they? So yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I definitely feel like with the, the with a second watch, you'd notice a lot more things. Yeah, it's one of those sure. types of films, definitely. Yeah. All right, Hamza. Go on, Hamza. All right, you're from Incoming. Hot Take, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> when I was watching that movie, yeah, obviously we're in IMAX, isn't it? So IMAX is obviously lit, right? <laughs> but I was sitting in that movie, yeah. And by the way, like, obviously I rate the movie like eight as well. I, I Eight and a half, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. And I like slow movies, obviously. Everyone knows that, innit? But I can't lie. I was watching that movie. <clears throat> and I came out of it. And I was like, you know what, yeah? I don't think there was any point or part of that movie where I was actually sat there like, whoa, this is visually insane. Well, funny just you never, say that. Just never did that. <laughs> And that's, that, that doesn't automatically mean I thought it was shit, because I know people always say that, right? If you say something's not good, they just assume it's shit. That's not the case. I just yeah. never, at no point did I ever automatically, I never feel like, holy crap, this is like, you know, whoa, this is insane. I just never felt that. Go on, Ashu, what are you going to say? No, bro, I can't lie to you. I feel like you are so much more articulate than I am. I feel like you should say what you're about to say. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to bring in the fact that, like, you know that scene when Paul rides the worm? It took them six months to make that scene. Why six CGI? months? Six months. No, because there's a lot of practical nature. If you rewatch sure, sure. that, he's getting blasted with sand. Yeah, right? yeah, so yeah, yeah, probably yeah, in some yeah, kind yeah, of set. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, my thing is, and I'll tell you why but, your opinion stinks. But, but the thing is, you and, can work six months, <laughs> but that doesn't make it good. I can tell you exactly you know, I'm why. Though, innit? I can tell you exactly why you, you, work six months. you think that <laughs> and why you're wrong. It's because it's desert. <laughs> It's because you were having the desert skewed. You were sick of the desert environment. I was there's only so sick of it amazing... towards the end. There's so many amazing set The other set five pieces. hours before, I loved it. So that, that okay. point is not relevant. There, there's so many set pieces though, right? Like I said, the one with the back shot of Timothy. The one mm. when he goes through the cave, right? When he, if you can name, if you can name, <laughs> if you can name other movies that have like these big, gigantic, epic set pieces, 
I'll I'll hear it. Yeah, but the you're just shot, putting set piece tack. The fact that they put a set piece together is the fact that it's amazing rather than actually being amazing itself. Because there's a the whole, whole scene, brother, in like well. black and white, like utilizing the white sun, the black sun. Well, they black just black put sun. black and white filter on it. Like, would you? Were you like, that this, doesn't they didn't. Make it they good. didn't put a black and white filter. No, but they you know what I mean, though, UV, didn't they? Well, they like, shot in, they shot in just because they're using cool ways to do things or that they're setting up practical things doesn't make it good automatically. Ha- it has to actually be one, good. And that's, again, bit. I'm not saying it's not good, but you see the point I'm making because the points that you've made are all about they went above and beyond to make this practical set or they put this set on it. That doesn't, that's not okay. But do, so okay, what? have you ever been wowed by any sci fi yeah. film? I don't know what that was. Yeah, what yeah I don't know. I don't yeah. know what that sound <laughs> was. <laughs> what? That was a random sound that just came yes. out. It's a good sound. Oh, um, have you have you ever been wowed by any sci-fi film? Is it just you don't I'm like trying. this setting? No, I just ne- I just didn't think that there was anything that blew me away visually about this movie. Like anything that I was just like, holy shit! I just, I mean, like we watched Avatar, and there's so many points where you just obviously we're not comparing because one's literally blue planet, one's a desert. But like the whole point of like holy crap, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like it's holy desert crap, I'm telling like, you. Oh my god, bro! I'd watch four hours of the Shire. Yeah, but like I'm just like that's holy green. Sh- holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> but like it's like holy crap! Like visually, this is blowing me away. Sci-fi wise, I'm just trying to think of some movies that come to mind. Um, I'm sure it's like Star Wars and stuff. Yeah, I was just like, oh, this is really cool and stuff. But yeah, I don't know. Just watching the, just watching June. I just, I was just there like, was, there's nothing that's really blowing me away here. There was literally one like, I, I, the reason why I said Masam, you should speak, was because I thought he was going to say what I was about to say, which was there was literally one part of the movie where it was actually very the very beginning where it was still set in the scene. They were in the desert and they're oh. about to. The Harkonnens just came through. Oh my god! They're about yes. to climb to the mountain, bro. I shit you not. I shit you not. Me and Masam. It was when they, they, they were looking for a Paul and his team walking off the cliff. The music was amazing. The setting was amazing. Everything had built up to this moment. And as soon as the music stopped, the Harkonnens just flew into the yeah, air. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so there was one Wait, wait, one sec, one sec. Oh, one sec, one sec. Yeah. And as soon as that happened, me and Masam looked at each other and we were like, oh, oh we're in my love. God. <laughs> we were like, <laughs> that oh is my awesome, fucking yeah. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's one yeah. really cool part, and this is now in 10, but um, <laughs> there's one really cool part which. Geez, Brother, I'm just thinking there's so many but, sick um, shots. So much. When, Brother, what I are you talking that, about? I think, it's, I think it's that I'm actually that, so I, triggered. I think it's that part there when <laughs> the Harkinens came, they flew in, and yeah. they had uh, one of the, the freaking spherical ball spaceship thingies, yeah? Yeah. It had a reflection on it. And, and as we were looking at it, and the spaceship flew, we were watching it through the reflection and the one thing I liked yeah. was that the reflection was actually showing the curvature as well which I thought was cool. I did see that. A very that sneaky end, thing right? to, yeah. It was the final yeah. battle just before the final yeah. battle began. But yeah. That was pretty cool. There we go. That was, that was cool. my hot take. Let us know in the comments below whether, what your hot takes were if you had any about June if you enjoyed it or not. But um, yeah, thank you all for tuning in to another episode. Episode 47. We're getting close to that episode 50 so let us know what Damn. you want to see. And uh, yeah, subscribe to the Atypical Podcast on all platforms as well. And uh, we'll catch you on episode 48. In a bit. See ya. Peace.